The Senate panel holds a hearing today on sexual assaults in the U.S. military. And some lawmakers are outraged over one case in particular, an Air Force general who just overturned the conviction of a top combat pilot for assaulting a woman at his home. Now, in an exclusive interview with NBC News, the accuser is telling her side of the story. Here's NBC's Michael Isikoff. I couldn't let this guy get away with it. Kimberly Hanks is speaking out for the first time about testifying last year that she was sexually assaulted by Air Force Lieutenant Colonel James Wilkerson, a F-16 combat pilot at Aviano Air Base in Italy. Hanks, a physician's assistant, and some co-workers were socializing at Wilkerson's home, and she ended up sleeping in the guest bedroom. I had felt some uh, discomfort. Um, the lights came on, which woke me up, and uh, I opened my eyes, and uh, he was in bed with me <clears throat> with his hands on my pants. A military jury believed her. Wilkerson was convicted in a court-martial last November, stripped of his rank, and sentenced to a year in prison. But now a startling reversal. A top Air Force commander, Lieutenant General Craig Franklin, has dismissed the verdict and freed Lieutenant Colonel Wilkerson. What was your reaction? Oh, I was absolutely stunned. It looks to me like he is protecting one of his own. General Franklin never attended the trial, but after a thorough review of the entire record and related materials, concluded there was insufficient evidence to support a finding of guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, a spokesman said. The decision is creating an uproar on Capitol Hill where members say it sends precisely the wrong message to a military suffering an epidemic of sexual assaults. I question now whether that unit that that man returns to where there's any chance a woman who is sexually assaulted in that unit would ever say a word. Because what that general just said is that jury's decision didn't matter. Now lawmakers are pressing to strip a military commander's authority to overturn jury verdicts. In a statement to NBC News, Wilkerson's lawyer accused senators of political grandstanding and said he hoped there will be others that recognize that some women make false claims of sexual abuse. Kimberly Hanks says she's frustrated, but has no regrets. I did the right thing. I reported it. I'll tell the truth. For today, Michael Isikoff, NBC News, Washington.